Welcome to Who Moved My Mouse. Let's learn about mouse move events. Mouse events occur when you move or click your mouse. For the next few challenges, we're focusing on the events that occur when you move your mouse. The function on mouse move is automatically called when you move your mouse. And in the function, you can code what should happen as a result. So here's an example. We have the on mouse move function and it has the parameter pause. And you can see we're using the pause within the function. So we are telling the monkey to turn to that position, to wherever your mouse cursor is, the monkey should turn to it. The parameter pause holds the position of your mouse cursor. So when you move the mouse, pause is changed. It's automatically updated as you move your mouse cursor. You can access the X and Y coordinates, like separately access those coordinates of your cursor by using pause.x and pause.y. Let's look at a challenge. Here's a challenge with the monkey, a crocodile, and three bananas. The code has two functions in it. The on mouse move function, which is called whenever you move your mouse, and it has the parameter pause, and the on key function, which is called whenever you press a key on your keyboard, it has the parameter key, and in this case, we're having the monkey step one. So we're having the monkey step one when any key is pressed. So how are we gonna use the on mouse move function to complete this challenge? So if we look at the challenge, we need that crocodile to turn towards the monkey and maybe towards other things later. So maybe we can use the position of your cursor to turn the crocodile. So let's try that. Crocodile turn to the parameter pause. So if we run this, we could see, look at that, the crocodile's following my cursor. So I can line it up with the monkey. And now I'm pressing any key to get the monkey to move. And there we go. Here's an example with the monkey, a bat, and three bananas. We have the function on mouse move and the parameter pause. Within we have the bat.setx. This means we're setting the x position of the bat to the x position of your cursor, pause.x and we're setting the Y position of the bat to 100. Then our on key function, which has the parameter key, is checking to see if the key is G that you pressed, and if so, have the bat grab what's underneath it. Okay, so let's just run this as is. Okay, when we run this, we could see the bats moving in the X position following my mouse. But if I move my mouse in the Y position, the bat's not moving, it's staying at that 100, because that's what we have in the code. So let's change that. Let's change the 100 to be pause.y. So the Y position of the bat tracks the Y position of your cursor. So let's go ahead and run it. And now the bat is right underneath my cursor. So now I can bring it to the banana, press G, bring it over to the monkey. So grab and bring it to the monkey. Nice. Now it's your turn to use mouse smooth events. Good luck.